Mr. Everett Broughton in the house tonight, fighting at 155. That's a lanky little man, ain't he? Isn't that a 155 for Mr. Snyder? He does, yes. Uh, very lanky. Looks like he could use his reach and try to keep it standing up, or we'll see how it goes. Well, Kurt Mapola likes to strike. I do know that. He hasn't fought for Rock with Doc before, and this is his very first debut fight ever as an amateur. But I know his coach very well, and he's uh, uh, known as a good striker out of his camp. Well, I'm looking forward to seeing it, Dennis. I always love to see a stand-up bout. He's getting warmed up over here in the corner. You see him? He's getting rowdy over here. This guy. It looks like he's ready to throw some kicks, strikes. He looks ready to stand up. I'm hoping for a stand-up war. I'll tell you one thing, Everett, um, I, I've never met him before, but I can tell you this, his coach is definitely one of my favorites uh, in North Carolina, Josh Nichols, stand-up guy, he comes to the Rock MMA and Fitness Center in Huntersville and trains with those guys, he's a good guy, he's a great grappler, he's, uh, he's got real good, um, real good insight on how to fight, he does a little bit of fighting himself when he gets a chance. I really love this camp, so uh, I don't know, like I said, I, I don't know too much about Kurt. I do know his coach, but uh, I, I don't want to play any favorites here. I'm very excited to see uh, you know, this happen. I'll tell you one thing Eric, no matter which way it goes, Everett's shorts, this thing's fucking rock. Yeah, Everett's got some energy over there, I'm ready to see him fight, he's uh, getting the crown into him. His, his shorts got me excited, I don't want to sound weird about it, but that's going to go, look at this one, he's getting me wrapped up, he's got me fired up, I don't know what to do here. Kurt's kind of playing it cool, kind of chilling out, relaxing. Kurt doesn't seem to be too phased by uh, his opponent's intensity tonight. I have a feeling there's going to be fireworks from the get-go, though. I'm going to give a shout out to Vivid Entertainer. We got Anthony over there, the manager I'm looking at. A vivid gentleman's club, a cool-ass dude. My man over there, the Vivid. <laughs> yeah. Very cool. Glad to have those guys here tonight. All right, here we go, Eric. Everyone's What's your ready to run across the cage. What's your prediction? I, my only prediction is there's going to be fireworks from the get-go. Well, you know, Kurt's never fought before. He looks pretty laid back. Whoa, whoa he's not even going to wait. Oh, body kick right away. Nice takedown. Immediately for the takedown right now. He's got him in side control. He looks very calm and collected. Everett's, Everett's right back up and right back down. Right back for a takedown. 
Looks like he's trying to secure a guillotine, though. However, it's very hard from side not to. It's going to be an, another high energy fight. I can see that right now. I love these guys that just come straight out, guns a blazing, you know what I mean? Everett's trying to take this fight to his feet. It looks like he's trying to keep it standing up, and Kurt's trying to hold him down. Got Josh Nichols over there. He's giving some good advice. He's going to go ahead and try to use the cage and get back up. Kurt's doing good. He's real calm and collective. He's right in front of us as we speak. He's, uh, it looks like he's done this a million times, you know? He does, yeah, and then uh, Everett's trying to use his lankiness, but um, it looks like Kurt's going straight back for the takedown again. He's getting a few warnings there, Everett's, um, you know, I don't think he's intentionally trying to grab the cage to stop the takedowns. Uh, usually with amateur fighters, especially beginning amateur fighters, it's just a, it's just a natural reflex, so I don't want to hold it against him too soon, uh, but he has been called on it now twice in the first round, so the next time he could be uh, looking at a point deduction. He does right now. Everett's got a good position right now where he's able to secure Kurt from really doing any damage or feathering his position. They're going to take Everett's back. Yeah, I still haven't really been completely clear on uh, what their game plan is. It's kind of been a little bit everywhere. It's back to a stand-up fight. I'm interested to see what these fighters are going to do. The crowd seems very excited as well. Oh, Kurt landed a good shot and went back with a rough takedown. Gosh, ever landed on the wow. side of his head, shoulder. That was a pretty, uh, pretty good takedown. I mean, I mean, I, I, you don't really get much better than that. It was very explosive. Um, I can't see Everett right now, but it does not look like a. Like he's in too much damage right now. He's, Kurt's got him inside now. <laughs> Just based on what I'm seeing, though, this fight's going to go to the second round, which is fine with me. I, I'd like to see a little bit more stand-up out of these two guys. We've got 10 second, 10 second warning here, so we're going to go to the second round and see how it goes. I'd like to see Kurt posture up a little bit more and try to land some more strikes from the ground, but it's hard when you've got such a lengthy opponent and never. Got a good crowd here tonight, man. The house is packed. God, I love this. I love this event. It is. The weather turned out great tonight, which I know in the past it's had some rain here, which has affected the rock of the dock. I think that beautiful ring girl is one of our, uh, sh uh, sh sh the ring girl's like a Charlotte Bobcat, cheerleader or something, I don't know where they pulled her from, probably heaven. <laughs> what do you think, Chaz? He gives me the thumbs up. I'm going to go ahead and put it on the record. We got Chaz Bryant here, who's uh, a you know, big time MMA enthusiast, uh, a blue belt under, uh, uh, under Keith the Rockstar down there in Rock Hill, which is an awesome guy, great, great pro fighter. He's doing our filming here today. And here we go with the beginning of the second round. Everett comes out ready to strike. Whoa! I like the way Kurt's covering up. He's pretty, uh, pretty good at his defense. He hasn't really took any clean shots. I think Everett's trying to use. Whoa! Oh, Kurt threw an overhand right. It would be a great one. And followed up with the takedown. So I'm hoping he's able to secure a full mount position or whatnot, or maybe go for submission or land some shots and posture up. Kurt's doing well to try to land some shots here with the position he's got. He's got full mount on Everett now. 
Yeah, I mean, I've been trying to hold him close, but I mean, Kurt has a, a definite advantage here on the ground, I think. Um, he, you know, you can see Everett's trying to hook his leg, trap his shoulder, going for a, a traditional roll, uh, you know, a very basic sweep, but it has a, a high percentage rate. And, um, you know, you can see Kurt just basing out. He's not having any part of it. I think Kurt needs to go ahead and there he goes. He's saying he's, he needs to, he needs to pop strap up and try to land some good shots. Mm -hmm. I'd be happier if Kurt would take those knees and bring them up into the armpits a little bit deeper into Everett. He'd get a lot more posture out of that, and uh, we'll see what he does here. You know, he's just going to go ahead and pick a couple shots. He's not going to blow his wad too soon. No, he doesn't look like he's definitely a very composed fighter. Everett's also keeping composed to be in the full mount position right now. For a first time fighter, he's. He knows what he's doing. Look at, look at him. He's looking up. He's listening to his coach. He's being smart. He's picking his shots. Oh, here he goes. He's finally postured yeah, up. Yeah. And he's able to land a few good shots. Here he goes. Everett's Everett in a little bit of trouble. I see an arm bar coming. No. Oh, he came back late when I thought he was out and came back and snuck one under the radar there. He did. I thought he was defenseless there for a second. Uh, that was funny. I think if Kurt would come no. down and really start raining down with some shots, he'd be able to end this fight right now because yeah. Everett's not. The referee is just he's just himself. waiting to end this. He doesn't want anybody to get hurt. And uh, Kurt just needs to continue the onslaught of strikes here. He's. Uh, uh, he's, he needs to pour it on. He's going to take this into another round because he's, he's wasting time. He is wasting time. He's got his opponent doing nothing but trying to defend himself. He, he almost shook him off with that. He's just completely in control. Ten seconds to go. He just doesn't look to be one. He's going to make it to the third round. Don't give it to him. Don't give it to him, Everett. Yes! Yes, we're going to a third round. That was sweet. Sweet. Nice job, Everett. Good job. Good job by Kurt, you know, controlling that round. But Everett was not ready to give it up. My man. I'm happy. I'm happy. Going to three rounds on this one. Wow. Starting to wonder how these guys' fatigue is going to set. And Everett uh, doesn't look 100% sure of himself, but you know we thought that at the end of the second round. Yeah, he does, but he's always coming out and he's like striking. So we'll see if he's trying to land a good shot of Kurtz and Bill to uh, keep control with the takedown. Everett comes out with a lot of kick, but it also leaves you. That was a hard takedown right now from Kurt. He's got Everett in his own corner right now, which I think with how much he was paying attention to him this past round could be an advantage for Kurt. Kurt's a little more aggressive this round, Eric. He is. Everett, however, is not giving up. He's continuing to work. Kurt's got the full mount position right now. I'm sure his corner had a talk with him in between. Yeah. I'm going to try to end the fight if he maintains such a good position. He got him full mounted again. Um, you know, this ain't good for Everett this soon in the round. No, it's definitely not, especially it, with how much control Kurt has. Yeah, Everett's going to have to make a miraculous escape and, uh, you know, do something amazing to uh, to pull this out. And I feel bad because, he can, you know, Everett's a good guy. He comes from a, a, a great camp, but he's just... Uh, He's just a little bit, a little bit out class. The ref go ahead and took, took it away from him. So, nice performance by Kurt. He won his first fight, you know. Go up there and shake that guy's hand. He did a good job. Kurt did do a great job. I think he maintained composure, control throughout the entire fight. Very, very intense individual. Very upset with himself.